Today I'm taking a look at a pair of shoes from Merrill. Six point six seven grueling miles, thirteen minutes forty seven seconds per mile, total elevation gain of about two thousand feet, starting at eight thousand feet and hitting the summit at about ten thousand feet, running for the first time in a pair of Merrells, the Merrell Nova. Now, before I get into my first thoughts on this shoe, I do want to go over a couple of disclosures because it gets a little bit complicated. This entire trip that I went on was part of a contest that I won. I had to submit a video to get onto a team where no one knew each other, but we're all going to get together and meet each other, camp with each other, and uh, run this relay together. I know it's gonna get filmed as part of a documentary. I'm not sure exactly where it's gonna go. They're not sure exactly where it's gonna go. If I figure out where it's gonna go, I'll let you guys know in links. Uh, but as part of that, uh, there was uh, some swag when we arrived to our tent that evening. And one of it was a shoe from the shoe sponsor, Merrill, for the event. They didn't pay me to wear the shoe. They didn't pay me to uh, go to this event. Uh, Ragnar did pay for our team entry and for our tent. Uh, but uh, we had to pay for uh, some of the food that we ate while we were out there and for our travel uh, arrangements to get out there as well. Uh, Ragnar also didn't pay me to either wear the shoe or to make this video. And in either event, no one uh, got a chance to preview any of my thoughts uh, or see any of my footage ahead of time before you guys got a chance to see it on YouTube. But now with the disclosures out of the way, what we have on this shoe is a eight millimeter heel drop trail shoe from Merrill. Now Merrill's normally known for trail hiking shoes uh, and for their zero drop shoes. Uh, they're not really known for trail running, but I think this is some of their initial forays into that market as well. The outsole here is super nubby and it's got a Vibram outsole, which I was very excited to see. I have a couple of winter boots I guess they're technically hiking boots, but I use them for uh, commuting, getting around town here in Chicago in our Chicago winters. Vibram outsoles, I love. The rubber is always super grippy, super durable. It's gonna last a long time, so very happy to see it here. There's a rock plate inside this. On top of the rock plate is some EVA foam. On the upper, what we have is a relatively stiff upper material. Uh, feels like it's gonna be really good at keeping water out. It was very good at keeping the dirt out in terms of the part on the forefoot. Got a couple of those, I think it's TPU overlays, but the waxy type of material that I think is going to add a little bit of stability in terms of structure on the upper, but also help keep some moisture out. A little bit of extra material and stiffness along the toe box. And then there's other overlays that are over here, these gray, darker gray overlays, which are more of like, um, like a suede-ish uh, material, uh, a synthetic material up here that's a little bit thicker. In terms of the heel cup, we've got a little bit of padding, not a ton, and the tongue is a little bit padded as well. And overall, the shoe sensation that I get from this is that it's roomy. It's a very roomy shoe. And I mentioned earlier when I had talked about the Nike Wild Horse 5 that I had traveled to Wyoming from Chicago in that shoe, and at, by the end of that travel day, the top of the laces of those shoes started to bear down on my foot. I think there was a lot of swelling that was going on with some of the sitting from being on the airplane and the elevation changes. When I got to Wyoming and I got this pair of shoes, I decided I'd just throw these on to walk around in. 
and these felt absolutely great. There was just so much more room in here. The insole is also completely removable. So if you guys have inserts that you might wanna put into your shoes, that's definitely something that you could do with this shoe as well. And there's a lot of room in this shoe to let you do that. But because there is so much room, I did have some issues with the lacing by the time it was time for me to actually go and run in these shoes. And I ran on these shoes in my uh, the last day that I was out there running for my last leg going up the mountain. And um, I just didn't know if I wanted to go ahead and use some of the extra eyelets. I've never used extra eyelets before. I've never really felt the need. I don't really know how to do a runner's loop. I wish I did because that I probably would have done that on this particular leg ahead of time. But in the end, I think it worked out just fine because by the time I started running, I was able to get enough of a cinch down where I felt like I could go up the mountain. And once I started running, none of those lacing concerns actually became issues at all. Uh, the shoe is definitely tougher than me, even though it's rated by Merrill as an intermediate trail shoe that I'm not an experienced trail runner uh, at all. These are just some initial introductory forays for me uh, into the trail running scene. Uh, but for the run up the mountain, we had to double up as part of our relay. They thought we were taking too long. And so I was initially supposed to be running that last leg by myself, but instead I ran it with someone else who also had another of that same loop that they had to run up with. And that ended up being pretty good because the guy I ran up with, Mike, a uh, very talented runner from Alaska, uh, he paced me up the uphills. Also, I frequently asked him to slow down so that we could power hike. And I did spend a lot of time power hiking up the mountain in this particular shoe. Uh, but we paced each other, uh, he paced me on the way up. I th feel like I'm a much stronger runner on downhills and so uh, I was pacing us on the way down. So it was a nice kind of combo, each of us pushing each other along the way. For the most part though, that particular red loop, the hardest loop of the relay, wasn't all that technical. When we were in single track, it was quite buffed out. When we were on wider roads, it was rocky, but ro large enough to get like an access vehicle through. And so nothing super technical until we got to the very top. And at that point, things got very rocky, very nubby, not unstable because it's, I think it's a relatively well-traveled trail, but it was quite rocky. And these shoes held up really, really well. Um, I feel like there is a, a lot of protection from those rocks in this outsole pattern and that Vibram rubber and with the rock plate that's in here. I felt like it was a pretty beefy shoe as far as shoes that I've experienced go. And even on the way down, I thought that it's a little bit of a heavier shoe. It's a little bit more uh, protective uh, of, from the elements. I thought that I might have some problems with it on the downhills, especially since there is a lot more room in this shoe in the just not just in the forefoot, but everywhere. But even when we were going downhill and I was trying to just go down some of those turns as fast as I could, uh, I didn't feel like I was slipping around in the shoe. I didn't feel like I was sliding in it or anything like that. So the shoe was able to keep up with me and I'm sure that this shoe is capable of much more than I'm currently capable of when it comes to either going up or downhill uh, on a trail run. So uh, I had a really just great time running in this shoe. I was very surprised by it. My first. Uh, experience with the Merrill trail running shoe. Uh, one of only a handful of trail running shoes that I've tried to be honest. But uh, this is definitely something that I would bring on another trip like this that is of this kind where I'm spending a lot of time camping, walking around uh, in the woods, uh, hiking. And if there's a little bit of running involved as well, I think this would be a, a really great shoe to bring around as kind of an all arounder if you don't want to bring three different pairs of running shoes like I did for this particular trip and you only wanna bring one, I think this is probably a pretty good choice. Um, so those are my thoughts on the Merrill Nova. If you've run in any Merrill trail running shoes, I'd love to hear about it and hear your experience in the comments so that we could trade notes a little bit. I think again, that this is relatively new for Merrill in terms of trail running. So I think that a lot of you guys are gonna be curious, especially those who are doing more trail running than I am as to what's going on with this new player in the marketplace. Now, before I go, I do want to remind you guys about the charity runner for this week. The charity runner for this week is Scott Boatwright. He's going to be running the Chicago Marathon in October, and he's raising money for Rising New York Roadrunners, which is an organization that provides free programming to use in schools, uh, community centers, and after school programs so that kids can have access to running and other types of outdoor activities so they get introduced to an active lifestyle. 
that's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it to the end of the video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?